Hello everybody, welcome back to Buzzard's Roost. I am Buzzard. A little bitty short video here. One of the things I'm uh, trying to occupy my time. Let's see if I can... Yeah, where is it? There it is. Two pounds of white beans, or Great Northerns. And two pounds of pinto beans. I'm going to soak them for a few hours, and I've done a, oh, let me see, how long is that? That's about about a 200-foot strip with a rototiller. Um, it's basically kind of like pasture, so I had to rototill it. Anyway, me and the kids are going to plant them this evening before it gets dark, and see how that works now the fence line that I part or planted that had the tomatoes peas and pole beans aren't coming up um, I'm gonna stretch a water hose over there I'm afraid the chickens may have got into it because I noticed there was a lot of scratching around there so I'm gonna give them a good soaking and if I don't get nothing popping up or sparsely popping up I'm gonna go through and replant them uh, if I would have got my greenhouse up I could have pre I could have started the plants beforehand but I didn't so I direct sowed them now next week we are going to have temperatures in the uh, low 30s uh, from what they was showing on TV was two of those days was going to be below freezing so I'm going to cover my fruit trees because they are loaded with fruit well all except for my pear my pear tree doesn't have no didn't have no blossoms on it and the one that I said I lost is still green when you scratch the bark back but there's no leaves on it so hopefully it comes out of it now I know one thing that they're good about doing whenever the main tree dies you get sprouts up from the base and if I start getting sprouts up from the base and say here in another few weeks and nothing happens on my pear tree I'll probably end up cutting it down. I may try to cut some of the longer limbs or the limbs that are on it that are still showing a little bit of life in them. If they don't completely dry out where they're break up brittle, I may dip them in some root hormone and plant them directly in the ground to see if that's enough to bring them back to life. But anyway, four pounds of beans, like I said, two pounds of pinto and two pounds of great northern. Get them, hopefully get them in the ground this evening, which is the plan. And go from there. Write down in the comments below to see, uh, let me know how your gardening's going. If you can garden, I know up north there's still a uh, not able to get stuff in the ground and down south of me it's probably got a lot in the ground so anyway let me know down in the comments how you doing if this quarantine is uh, making things rough oh on update the kids the I done the video a little gag you know to homeschool and gone south the kids got the school uh, issued out Chromebooks so they can do some school work on that and they also also issued out packets and this first time here I went ahead and got both because uh, the internet being satellite internet is actually not the best but it's the only that I can get where I'm at so we'll see how this actual homeschooling goes. They've been doing real good on their work. Uh, 
I don't know if it's ideal that they can get on the computer here at home, but they, they have been doing very well with it. Uh, my youngest, he's 13, he has been doing a lot of the packet and some of the, some of the computer stuff. So it, it kind of go. It's going to kind of depend on how things end up in this next week, whether or not I keep trying to do both. I know the school doesn't want to do both, and I can understand why. But we'll just see how it goes. Anyway, remember only dead fish follow the flow of the stream. Don't be a dead fish. This is Buzzard. See ya.